So we have a 2019 Honda CRV. The problem is it has a good misfire code P0304. So what we did already for the diag is we move the spark plugs number four and we swap it to spark plugs number three, number two and ignition coil number four and we put it to cylinder number one and we test drive and test drive still showing misfire on cylinder number four so what we have left is uh, injector per Honda recommendation always replace injector as a set apparently I call Honda and they don't have parts available for they don't know for how long actually they have eight customers waiting for the parts so uh, I don't think I will be that ninth person to wait for the parts so um, I'm not gonna pay six hundred dollars and not even knowing when the parts are coming so what we did is just we went to a junkyard hopefully this is a good one what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this to cylinder number one because and we put the cylinder number one to cylinder number four because we know that cylinder number one injector is good but we don't know if this one is good so we're gonna put this on cylinder number one and then put the number one to the number four which we already know that is bad so the injector on this is all the way in the back we're gonna have to remove the intake manifold all the way in the back so technically this part right here has to come off too so we're gonna have to move this out of the way my car <laughs> and then we're gonna have to remove it's easier just to remove the throttle body instead of unplugging the coolant hoses instead of removing the coolant hoses we're just gonna remove the throttle body and leave the throttle body in this location right here This is a fuel line. Okay, so there's a bracket at the bottom under the car. We need to get that out. So here's one technique. Since the bolt is right at the very bottom, you don't know you get confused which way are you going to turn before you stick your socket in there do it here Loose, lefty loosey and righty tidy right so while your while your socket's still out make sure you already set it up that way when you wherever you put it in you know which direction you're gonna go I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say no one and there's two three three right there four and then the last one right here five and i believe there's still one more at the very back That's what i believe sometimes what i believe is not real but let's start with those five bolts first those are 12 millimeter. 
loose this thing normally fall off so just take it out so you, won't. So you have less problem now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try to pull the intake manifold back there you go Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Baby, I can't yeah. see it. There you go. Now we have enough room. Go here. Zoom out. That's it. Yeah, we have now. We have the. F this is our fuel rail right here. Baby over here, down. Yeah. This is our fuel rail. This is our fuel injector. One, two, three. You're not seeing it. Tilt it that way. Yeah. Three and four. Okay. Let's take out connector number four. And a 19 millimeter wrench. Take the high pressure. Just break loose because that's like thousand psi. And then try to take it out. Just back it up a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. oh, where did it go? I did not hear it either. But I wanted to go inside the engine, so let's take a peek. It went inside, didn't it? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> You could just get it with the metal screwdriver, the magnet, magnetic screwdriver thing. Oh, it's right here. I got it. Yeah, be careful not to put a bolt inside the engine because I think your engine's gonna break off. Cylinder number four. Here it is. 
Cylinder number four. Oh, that's a lot of gum in there. Gummy. It's okay. So you don't need to push it all the way in. All you just need to do is just to make sure it's in there. Because when what we're gonna do is we we're gonna use the fuel rail to push the injector down that way they will be all even so let's get this injector from the junkyard let's assemble it just a reminder we're all doing this for the reason that the parts are not available but if the parts are available technically you're supposed to replace all four of them now we're gonna put install the used one put a little lube in there the connector part is going to be at the bottom make sure this metal piece is still in there too this thing and feel where's that hole it's right there Hey dad, mm -hmm. when I do the fix cars, don't give her too much money, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It depends on what kind of drug it does. She does. Only I don't think she's gonna fix cars. She's more of a... Ew! <laughs> she's, mo she's more of a video-taking girl, Paul. And make sure you plug the connector back in. Double check the other one. I know I didn't remove the other two. But just double check. Lube that thread. It should have... This pipe should also be one-time use. But again, no parts. I don't know how Honda's doing it. 
Do they have some sort of magician or something? Yeah, magic parts. Click, click. That's like 50 foot pounds. Alright, put the take manifold back in. Show that video over there, all the way at the bottom. Right there. See this bracket right here? This bracket. This. And there's two bolts. See this? One, two. Mm -hmm. Those two bolts are gonna go to the hole that's in the bracket. Those are the bolts that I took out earlier. See those holes? Right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those two holes right there at the bottom. Oh. Got to make sure that our two studs will get into that hole. Also, don't forget this hose. Can you see it? Yeah. Hmm? Got it. Yeah, yeah. Bolts in. Magnet. So far, we put everything back together, we start the car, but you're going to have those lights, all those lights on, but once you tr once you test drive it, it should, all, all of them should reset. If not, we'll find out a way. So let's go under the car, we have to make sure that we don't have any fuel leak. Go under the car. That's clean. Under intake manifold. So this part right here. Injectors. Those are the injector wires. They're pretty clean. No fuel leak. So we're good to go. We'll put the cover back in and test drive the car. So let's start on a test drive. Let's see. This will reset. Oh, look at that. It did reset. Awesome. There's a one on cylinder number one, which is that's the brand new. Well, that's the new used injector. Let's see if that number will go up. Sputtering already. 